So this is a super quick how to uh, somebody asked in the YouTube comments of my video where I talked about the fact that we now have access of using Stadia controllers wirelessly with Chrome. Some one of the comments in there was how do I get it to connect to my my Chrome browser because every time I turn it on it starts up my Chromecast instead. So I decided I'd make a quick video about that and just to check, yeah, my microphone's on and it looks like the camera's focused this time. So all of the technical difficulties that I had in the last video, uh, hopefully uh, all of those gremlins have been have been fixed. Uh, so here I wanted to show you exactly what the problem is. Uh, a lot of people go to play Stadia and they turn on their controller by pushing down the Stadia button and it flashes a couple of times. And then what happens is their Chromecast starts up and switches over to Google Stadia, which is what it should be happening any second. And there you go. In the bottom right, you can see that my Chromecast just picked up, uh, said, oh, he wants to play Google Stadia. Let's get started. Now, the, uh, the window that you see right up here, that is a Chrome browser on my PC. So in order to get this to not connect to the Chromecast, well, first off, I'm going to shut it off. So let me hit B and then yes. So now we're shutting Chrome down and it shuts off the controller. So some people get that far and they're like, I don't understand what's happening. Here's what you gotta do. If you look uh, at the Chrome browser, there's a picture of a controller. If you click on that, it's going to give you a code to connect. Now, in order to use that code, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the device that you're trying to connect to. So this one says to push B-A-A-B. -A -A -B. So what happens instead of normally just pushing the button and leaving it, it flashes once and I push B-A-A-B. -A -A -B. And each time that you push a button, it will vibrate. And then after a moment, it will give you another vibrate. It might be two vibrates, I'm not sure. Yeah, two vibrates once it's connected. And then as you can see right there, the Stadia controller is linked, and now I should be able to control it just like I can any other time. So if I push down or whatever, if I want to start up the Division 2, it should go full screen, and I should be able to play uh, whatever game I want, really. Although, that's odd. It didn't go full screen. Maybe it's uh, waiting to go full screen. Like, you can still see my, my menu. Press a key to open in full screen. Ah, okay, I had to click on it. So now that I've clicked on it, it's going to start up my game. And, uh, oh, that's, oh, okay. It was just uh, probably just a poorly cal calibrated monitor over here. It looks blue when I look at that screen over there. Uh, anyway, uh, there you go. Hopefully that was useful to you. If you found it useful, hit that like button. If uh, you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you subscribe. And, of course, Click on that bell when you subscribe so that you're notified each and every time I post something new. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.